So this is an asynchronous assignment. Momentum and impulse. Have you ever run or ridden on a, a bicycle downhill? You will notice that as you go faster and faster, you get closer to the bottom. This is due to momentum. You will have built up momentum to build to win a race. Momentum is the measure of an object's resistance to, to stopping. It is product of an object's mass and velocity. So impulse is created when you apply a force for a certain amount of time. Impulse is calculated by multiplying the force applied by the time that it, it was applied. Hit ball gains momentum. Momentum is the quantity of a moving object or living thing based on its mass and velocity. Momentum makes it difficult to stop a moving object. The greater the mass an object or living thing has, the greater the momentum will be. Momentum is a product of an object's mass and velocity. Momentum is represented by the symbol P. Equation for momentum is P equals MV, where P is the momentum, M is the mass, and V is the velocity. Velocity is the speed an object or living thing is traveling in a specific direction. Based off of what the word of momentum, would it be much more? Would it be more or less painful if the more massive water balloon <laughs> fell on These runners have zero momentum. Let's look at an example of momentum. Say that runners are lined up at the start of the race, waiting for a signal to start. At the moment, the runners have zero momentum since they have mass but no velocity. As each runner begins the race, their momentum will build to a high point and they then decrease as they cross the finish line and slow to a stop. The momentum of each runner will be different throughout the race based on their mass and velocity. Boulders gain momentum as they roll downhill. Another example, imagine you have large boulder and a baseball positioned at the top of the hill. In that moment, each object has zero momentum. If you were to roll them both down the hill, which would have the greater momentum? Which would be harder to stop at the bottom of the hill? boulder sitting still has zero momentum because the large boulder has as much greater mass its momentum would also be greater because of this a boulder would be much harder to stop if a boulder has a mass of 45 kilograms and is traveling at 1.1 meters per second we can calculate the momentum as p equals 45 time kilograms times 1.1 meters per second in this case p would equal 49.5 kilograms meters per second push or on a swing is an impulse an impulse is a force applied to an object at a certain amount of time an impulse results in a change of velocity for an object or living thing with mass. A change in velocity also means change in momentum. An impulse is calculated by multiplying the force applied by the time it was applied. Force 
the equation is I equals FT, where I is the impulse, F is the force, and T is the time. Explanation. For example, say that a 50 Newton force is applied to a 100 kilogram boulder for three seconds. The equation to determine this impulse is 50 Newtons times three. The answer is impulse is 150 Newton seconds. Impulse would be the same whether it was applied to a 100 kilogram boulder or a 50 kilogram boulder. The mass of an object, the impulse is applied to and is not a factor. What effect do you think the weight of the bar has on the impulse? She had a successful 315 on her first attempt, 325 for her second. The bat applies a force to the ball, resulting in an impulse. Impulse is closely related to momentum, and there is a measure of units of kilogram times meters per second. They are both vector quantities, quantities, which means that they both have magnitude and direction. Whenever an object or living thing has momentum, the force is applied, the momentum changes. Impulse. Momentum theory states that impulse is equal to this change in momentum. In other words, the impulse tells you how much the momentum will change when the force is applied to a certain amount of time. How do momentum and impulse affect this race? Momentum, impulse, speed, and velocity are closely related. You experience momentum in your daily life in a variety of ways. Have you ever comp competed in an egg toss competition? In order to reduce the amount of force on an egg so it doesn't break, you catch it. You should move your hand in the same direction the egg as you catch it. The action increases the amount of time you apply force on an egg, which reduces the amount of force acting on the egg. This reduces the egg's momentum so the egg will not break. In chemistry, we learned about the conservation of matter. Here in physics, we learned about the In chemistry, we learned about the conservation of matter. Here in physics, we learned about the conservation of energy. That is the end of our lesson on momentum.